Hi guys, we're here with another huge update to Amped Authenticate. Let's take a look at what's new. We've added a brand new projects feature to Authenticate. The project panel provides an intuitive way for you to organize your work. Whenever you find an interesting result, you can now bookmark it and add it to the project panel. Once you've selected the filter, click the bookmark icon to add it to your project. You can edit bookmarks either by selecting Edit Bookmark within the Projects panel or by simply double-clicking. Here, you can add a description of the bookmark or issue in question, along with any notes you may have, and you can also choose from three colour-coded status values, each colour depending on the warning status. There are three to choose from. Warning, To be checked, and OK. Leaving a bookmark on set will default to grey. Projects can be saved and reopened should you wish to return to your investigation later. Projects can be saved and reopened should you wish to return to your investigation later. Folders can be added by right-clicking on the panel and selecting Add Folder in order to group bookmarks together for better organisation of your work. Using the new project panel, you'll now be able to bookmark results, add comments, organise bookmarks into folders, and finally generate a fully detailed report for your case. We're proud of the new Authenticate projects and reporting feature and we're sure it will greatly assist with all your image investigations in the future. While Authenticate already allowed checking multiple images in a folder against the currently loaded camera reference pattern or CRP, you can now add multiple CRPs for each device in order to compare an image against different suspect devices. Since we're dealing with multiple CRPs, we believed it was necessary to add the CRP MD5 hash value in the filter output, so you'll always be able to link a filter result to the exact CRP file used to generate it. We've decided to simplify the social media identification filter. Now, a match is only returned when an identical descriptor is found within the database. The filter interface has been simplified by removing the date of reference file and the similarity score. The messages produced by the filter in the result row have been clarified. You'll either get no compatible social media platform signatures found in the database, or image is compatible with social media platform signatures in the database. We've also expanded the internal database of social media platform signatures with more recently shared images. Now that Authenticate features projects, we've renewed the entire samples folder accessible by clicking on Help and Open Samples folder, which now provides 15 examples.
During training sessions, we realized that the warning messages produced by the file format filter when the input images JPEG quantization table was not found in Authenticate's database could be misleading for some, so we've improved the warning messages to avoid this. We've also expanded the internal database of quantization tables with more than 250 new signatures, as well as organizing compatible cameras alphabetically. That's all for now. Make sure to update to the latest version of Amped Authenticate Check out our blog, our social media pages and our website and subscribe for more amped content in the future.